always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Captain, do you require I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for you see military I hope we have what you need. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. Come on, drop. My attention.
have seen much, much worse. more legal now, I suppose, but hardly more civilized. Wait! Don't shoot me! I didn't do anything wrong! Bullshit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, Stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. I'm in charge of security here, so I'm the last person you want to piss off. Hey, watch out! You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because... Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open, maybe you don't start that fight. Call it whatever you want. We're ecliptic mercenaries, so I think... What do you think, moron? Money. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. And if anyone's got a problem with... All right. Now get out of my face. Can't believe they'd rough up a guy just for wanting to take a little break. Patrons need to handle their own heat leech removal. So don't it. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I... And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tighter, but when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, well, everything went straight there. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas. You'd think she'd care a little bit more of them. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that... I mean, I could charge you, but I won't. There's no work to be done. We got some. Take a look. to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. 
Never heard of it. Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> You're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime... Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people make it back alive and you'll stand to... Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Mile is a spectator's sport, after all. Most people don't complete the course, so... This is a way to give those unfortunate souls a proper send-off while they can still appreciate it. Of course. And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. Apologies, but the Red Mile is currently undergoing some maintenance. You better watch it. But... Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. This is a wonderful beginning to an assignment. Tell me everything. Ugh, it's about Donovan. He keeps adding to his tab, but he hasn't paid anything in a while. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. If you feel you cannot in good faith extend, follow me. I'll take care of it. I'll do that. I think that might be Donovan Reese. I dislike him intensely. You said you'd be alone. Yeah, well, things changed. Take a seat. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Wait, Autumn has friends? Like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Successful runners like Mr. Reese have earned considerable fame for their achievements. Only those who take the great... Wow, how noble. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I... Look, the bad news is Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. She's the owner and manager here, 
inherited them. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. Is someone recognize You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's you don't have to do this. We'll find... All right. It's your call to make. You have played your hand well, Jade. Using the rangers to eliminate a rival. Very clever. From where I'm sitting, we're using each other. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? Yes, you need me. You're really going to take on the mile, huh? If someone's got a death wish, why not make a few quick? It's off it. Happy to serve you. As long as you respect my rule. And behave yourself. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him? Exactly. Quite a leap of faith that you're up. I have no particular love for Marco, but he is a business. Fortunately for you, it's been too long since we've had proper inter- Are you prepared to run? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from you. That's what- You definitely have at least 50-50 chance. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, Good. Come.
Always worth checking. That was... Know what you might find in their pockets. that the smell will not be an issue.
die today. There was something out there. Gone now. Scanner reveal.
some time since I have visited the Red Mile. Little has changed since he was. Congratulations, runner. You, in fact, you see anyone who comes to the near shot about your fame and fortune? Indeed, you have. And as promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy it. Yes. What? Pardon me. It's a pleasure to have you. Well done! You're back! Are you... okay? Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. How could you possibly... Maybe someday I can... Uh, but no. No. Now isn't the time. We need to focus on the task at hand. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. You must be tougher than you look. They finally get tired of your I have a feeling about you. Get the hell out of my feet. You want to try it again? Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. He's intelligent, well con- You'll find out sooner. Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. Good. Travel safely, Runner. 
Should you ever crave the challenge of them? Look at that. Still got all your legs. Pardon? You'd rather go back to the days when this place was raided and plundered on a regular basis. We'll be talking about sure. this for a while. The occasional pirate raid. I hear you're one of the event. runners to watch. Where the pirates would leave and the guests would return. Don't see a lot of people survive the mud. I fired a lot of you right now. I take my chances with the pirates. Well, it's. Listen, friend. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm trying to relax. I tell you what. If you want a conversation with me, do you now? How about you stop? You're going to try it again? I wouldn't. Hello. Hi, welcome. Aside from the restaurant and hotel services, just speak to our staff port master, Lon Anderson. Sure. What would you like? Lucky you. Will you be staying for just the night? Come and see me if you need anything else. Even running sometime. Talk to May and she. Ah, you again. Ah, most good. So, what brings you by? Well, you really? I'm Donovan Reese. I, the Donovan Reese. Impressive. <laughs> That's an understatement. You can count on one hand the number of runners ever to pull that off. It's rare company you're in. Nah, just relish your challenge. I'd still be out there today if my knees and my back won't shut. Besides, I'm retired these days. Uh, being famous. <laughs> don't, other than that, don't hesitate. I always say the best way to run the course is on. Unless you already know your instincts are shut. I right hope. That was impressive. Don't do Well done. I was beginning to wonder if you hibernate.
thankful these rides are quick. I do not like being in small, enclosed spaces with many people I do not know. Salina's heart, feel free to come. It's a quaint. Okay, then. Come on. Welcome to Salina. Let's keep this job. Nothing else, Constellation does have excellent lodging.
something? Hey, good to see you. I must confess, the hum of a grav drive makes me feel alive. It's good to be on the boat. The lives get stuffy sometimes. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Yeah, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad. He's too big to be stuck in the same place. I'm up for a little adventure. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book.
Hey, let me know when you're ready to take me along. About time you woke. What did you want to talk about? us just to walk into a space like this is very, very confident. Or, I suppose, very insecure. Are we impressed? Clearly that is the goal. I think... Uh, hmm. Never mind, I am not impressed. Really puts the soul at ease. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. <laughs> Tread carefully, Marco. You underestimate the deputy at your peril. And who might you be? Call me Andreja. Welcome to my home, Andreja. If I may be so bold, you possess a certain mystique. It's a pleasure to have you here. The feeling is not mutual, and I am not the one with whom you should be trying to curry favor, Marco. 
Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. To settle accounts, Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are in forces for a corrupt Council of Governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. <laughs> I'm not. You're on my ship, outnumbered by my... I'm a businessman. If you expect me to... I won't tell you everything. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange. Choosing your words carefully. Let's move this along, shall we? Something on your mind? Good! An agreeable transaction, and bloodshed is avoided. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. There's something on this. Feel free. As you can see, I'm a man who enjoys the finer things. I hope this can be the start of a lasting friendship.
hope you are sufficiently rested. Who knows what this day will bring.
Whoever wrote this music was clearly influenced by the great French composers. Got my eyes on you. This music is gonna put me to sleep. Darling. If you are ever looking to buy property, remember me, Mr. Tick. Capacity? 97.5%. Legacy, please let me know. Hi, please feel free. let me see. Magnificent. These, the data he gathered. If you find anything else, the museum is always open to you.
Hey there, deputy. The way I hear it, you've been... How do you like the job? That's good to hear. So, what brings you... Well, well. Well, this is new. Hmm. Very... I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these. In the meantime, you be careful.
Hey there. Welcome to the run. Helga says I spend too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How do you like the job? That's good to hear. So, well, well. Well, this is... Hmm. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you be careful. We should be on our guard if we venture outside the city. And the Ashta are quite formidable. He was an ast... Later in life, he... The bravery and... During the Great Ex... He and some others built... I hope you enjoyed your visit.
I think I could do quite well on the Red Mile. I think together, the two of us could do very well. but I appreciate that I was still given my own room. Hey, Dad. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku, huh? That sounds exciting. Let's hear it. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your value.
Any changes on the next order? Forget is prepping as we speak. No, pretty simple. Standard with extra cargo. Are you sure? I changed the order one time. One time after construction begins. I make it all this badgering. Yes, I'm sure. I'm just the courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Thanks for... The Welcome to the clinic. Supply. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Well. Is there something I can do for you? Are you? Because I... We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend... We have an excellent track record that speaks for... Whatever business you may be here for, I trust that you will con... Would you now? Well, I suppose we could... The more data we have about what... I suppose we could consider you... Organic membranes provide excellent data for treating virus. What we're looking for are basic organic substances. They could come from any number of flora or fauna on countless worlds across the settle. Just keep your eyes open as you travel. Or frankly, if you can find them at a reasonable price somewhere, purchase them.
Got some trouble? Ooh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the Marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. So, is one of them first... Well, every ranger knows it's a no better place in the settled... <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here. And I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some... Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our... Yeah, still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Sounds dangerous. Hmm. The name's not... Do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates. Come on. I have to keep an eye on these doctors, or they'll work themselves to death. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but... It's a start. You're welcome to use the Ranger Station Terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. You know, just by breathing the air in here, you're being exposed.
exposed to about a dozen different viruses. I'm kidding. Yes, what do you want? I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Coe himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Flexibility clearly is not... Oh. I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. I've never required treatment here, and I hope that I never do. This place is a far cry from... We get the cases no one has ever seen before. Hey, let's keep our voices down. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it should... Sorry. I'm not really that busy. Don't get bent out of shape. I hear you. Oh, I really shouldn't do this. If the clinic finds out... <sighs> All right. I can throw in a few extra supplies, but I'm not going... I really hope someone comes to take a look at me soon. Yeah, yeah, Ari's is a good kid. I wait. Sure as hell. Good luck out there.
Every new alien, you had a chance to talk to Dr. Cassidy. Really fun guy. Dry humor, though. So dry. Like Are you the courier? You're not really supposed to be back. Well, we're really not that kind of a hospital. And don't you should... Oh, sometimes true. You best believe it's all in. It can be. Yeah. It's harder on the newer. He's a good doctor. Don't I know it? I just hope doctors... Actually, now that we're talking about this, I want... I overheard something about a meal he hadn't had in a long time. Aren't you just the... You know that Don's Roost restaurant in New Atlantis? The fancy one? Dr. Salvato was... I look like I work. Whatever you do, don't let anyone... We don't usually take walking. I'm not seeing anything wrong with you. Couldn't call ourselves... Oh, well, that, there really isn't anything. Oh, hmm. I do have some data. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. Thanks for stopping by. There's certainly no shortage of things to do. There are hundreds, if not thousands. Any one of those... Someone has to try and stay ahead. If we do it right, no. Ironically, this may be one of... Take care. Maybe I should have just... seems to be where we left it. such an elaborate mining operation.
Dangerously low temperatures here. Keep an eye on your vitals. Time in a geode in space was not on my to-do list today, but it is very impressive.
of victory.
cowards. Did they have anything of value? they even try. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. Uh, how about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. <sighs> well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here, and leave me in peace. You can always just grab things and evaluate them later.
so our adventure continues. Maybe trying to take a little too much on? Literally. service, Captain.
Welcome to what brings you to the trade authority. Got it.
The trade authority. I'm sure something will get. in cryptography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't... You're like an Ashta creeping silently through them. So, did you... Oh, come to daddy. You go stock it... Hey there, deputy. Take a seat. Grab a chair. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. Set those thoughts aside. Right now, I need you to... How's your investigation? That's assuming he finds something. Otherwise, you'll be no... How can you be so critical when you have done nothing to help? This is Freestar Ranger business. I'll say... Let's move on. I asked the other Rangers to share their opinions of you. And there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you came on pretty strong with Ron Hope. Tried to lay down the law with him. Guess I didn't get the point across when I said go easy. He's on the Council of Governors. Excuse me. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your re... He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty. You got results and that's what... Ma Price was impressed by that. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Freestar Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Makes sense. I reckon he figures he's spent enough time there already. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? 
That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. Be ready for a fight. It's a big facility, mostly. During the war, it was home to maybe... Uh, they used the planet's geothermal vents to power the smell. That's about all I know. Smart, proud, and charismatic. Most in the first cavalry would have laid down there, but seeing so many of us, I think something. It's a sad story. He would not be the first to be changed by. Seen it more time. Yes, we're done here. If the marshal's right, you could encounter serious resistance. Be prepared.
time you were awake. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. this ship better than we do.
Two of us make quite the pair, eh? Anything useful?
smell of lumber, crops, and... chunks? Yes, that is chunks. Got anything? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of it. Sure, how about it? Looks to me like you've already in Sure, how about it? I'm sure you can find something. Anything I can help you with? I'm sure you can find something. Sure, how about it?
Hello, Captain. Leave it to humans to find inventive new ways to kill each other. realize these maps were a step too far. Whoever laid claim to this place seems to be long gone.
spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. I'm a man of action. I've got no use for lies. So when I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know I'm telling the truth. You think the Council of Governors really cares about anything but themselves? They're greedy and corrupt. You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy, just like I once was. I was loyal. I followed orders, and I led good men and women to their deaths. I'll carry the stain of this dishonor to my grave.
always take breaks, is it not? Cavalry was the greatest fighting force the Free Star Collective has ever seen. At the Battle of Nera, the First Cavalry was destroyed. Why? Because the generals got scared and asked for a truce. I've got no sympathy for cowards or for the people who put them in power. I've also got no sympathy for those who do their bidding. And this means you.
What you must, leave the rest for the scavengers.
justice? Well, what about justice for my soldiers? Minutes away, minutes from winning the battle and the war when the ceasefire order came down. Now the, the dead of honor and the people who betrayed us, the people of the Free Star Collective, are going to pay. devastating the war was, how determined both sides were to claim victory. Get that done. Some who would consider that much. Yes, 
die today. just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. You fought because you had to, and you fought well. <clears throat> Don't apologize for that. More importantly, you survived. Most soldiers don't. I know, because I'm the one who led them to their death. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watched brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us, even when victory was within our grasp. Do not assume you know what others have or have not experienced, and none of it gives you the right to take innocent lives. You don't know me, so don't preach to me about what I do or don't have the right to do. You really want to know? Because last chance, deputy, you can walk away right. But if you still want the truth... <laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. <laughs> I refused to work for a shadow client. So we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar space. The credits were good, but yeah, getting some payback was the real reward.
father. Be ready for another fight. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, Deputy. What did you need? I have something I wanted to say. But I confess I am afraid of how you will react. I am reluctant to put that to the test. But it is necessary that we are honest with each other. I know that you said you prefer to be surrounded by others, unlike me. But Constellation means something to us both. And I must be honest about why. The little I have spoken of my history has been nothing but truth. I worked with smugglers. I have caused my share of pain and suffering. What I have left out, until now, is that all of that was done on behalf of House Varun. My people. My family. They have retreated from open relations with the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective. But they still exist. I was born in the great city of Dazra, and raised with the teachings of Jinan Varun. I underwent the rite of Krijar when I came of age. I am of the promised, those who know the truth of the great serpent and his inevitable return. I appreciate that, but it is still important that you know. Several years ago, I intercepted requests from Constellation to access Varun's space, speaking only of exploration. I was sent to infiltrate Constellation, posing as a former smuggler looking for a new purpose in life. Yes, well, you were not the only one. Several weeks after I arrived, I attempted to access secure records within Constellation's archives. Vladimir and Sarah were waiting for me. I thought the same. And yet there they were. I was... Horrified. My failure would be reported to the High Council. And the penalty would be severe. Yes, she is. I cannot imagine anyone else in her position doing the same. You and I have spent so much time together. It has been increasingly difficult to keep this from you. And I am sorry for that. Telling you this violates so many of the orders I was given. But it was the right thing to do. I can feel that. <sighs> 
You have no idea what a relief that is. Thank you for trusting me. We should not leave valuables behind if we can avoid it. We are the only ones to come through. Extra ammunition is always welcome if they have any. Come on, there are worlds to conquer. If something's on your mind,
folks from all... Sure, we get the occasional bar fight, but it's usually pretty quiet. Bye. As there was a time, I'll take any cargo. I suppose that is ours now, eh? Pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news, whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Those Something more jackasses than... on line A are gonna be the... Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust... You're here with good news? Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense.
Let's get on with it, shall we? Time is money. That's one hell of an accusation, deputy. That two-faced bastard kept the slate. Oh, I suppose. This is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. <laughs> I'm impressed, deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Ho? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you...
generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Bert. Off-worlders. We set some ambitious quotas. And you met every one of them. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news. Whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. You Look alive. Moves. Get it done. to see you, but, well, I've just received a report from you. He said you... I trust. Did you now? Well... Oh, that's one hell. That two-faced... Oh, <laughs> What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you. I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <laughs> and it failed utterly. Wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything. Turns out, a fertilizer was transforming the soil. Bolstering its mineral content. Tenfold. Mining is expensive. And so is the cost of raw materials. My mineral enriching fertilizer solves several problems at once. The farmers provide free manual labor. And once the land is ready, we move in to extract and process the soil. You sit on the Council of Governors. You betrayed the very people you are supposed to represent. I wish there'd been another way. But I had to play the hand I was dealt. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so... so awful to innocent people? To families? Not another word out of you, Birgit! I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In uh, any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. Like I said, I give you my word. And besides, the work was just about done. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Well, let's not be too hasty, Deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer?
Justice can be complicated, Deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? You have overestimated your position, Mr. Hope. Such a shame to see a promising career cut so tragically short. Profit is never necessarily the aim, but if there is something worth taking. You can't hope to win. to see you. Well, I've just received. He said, I trust. Did you now? Well. Oh, that's one. And two faith. Oh. <laughs> What's going? Nothing that concerns you. I think I'd like... Ah, the cards are up. The truth is, a few years ago, we div... I was pro... Turns out, we donated the fertilizer. And when the time was right, the reduction in labor. You sit on the council of. I wish there'd been enough. I never intended, unfortunately. I can't believe what I. How could you do something? Not another word! We'll discuss. In there, I give you my word. Like I said, I give you my word. Besides, with that resolve, as a member, and of course, we'll both agree to for... For let's not be too hasty. I'll do its nest. If you tell, do you really? Justice. Sometimes I'll make... I won't let you, if that means... I'm important. You're not... You have over... Such a shame. We should move on. There's nothing worth taking.
He... He tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. The first part is true. He always looked out for us, for his employees. No, of course not. But there was more to him than that. He had a genuinely good side, a caring side. And now he's... You. You killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? That's... That would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There are uncertain times ahead for you, but they will pass. Goodbye. My company only uses Hope Never know. Just keep it holstered, and we'll get along fine. Workers like to play hard here. The next CEO. beginning to wonder if you hibernate. Hmm? Yes? Indeed I do. All yours. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Ah, oh, my day just got a whole lot brighter.
newcomer that saved this survival? Good to see you back safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, Anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the Marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Woo! Uh, wait a minute. Congratulations. The promotion's well earned.
Well, hey there. The mayor's all right. Always painting too rosy a picture, though. The rock is surprisingly well fortified. The early settlers here were quite practical. Everything you see here... ...is a piece of Aquila City's history. Welcome to the Co-Heritage Museum. Let me see. I've heard of this. The story... This book. Hmm. Oh, I know what this is. This is... Every single... Thing. I know these names by heart. Every... But this is the original document. See here? Minutes from Solomon Coe's first meeting as... So his... When I asked you to find Solomon Coe's trove... Honestly, I didn't expect anything. But somehow, by some miracle, I think you found them all. Future generations owe you a great debt. As do I. I hope you enjoyed your visit. Any troubles you need to share? I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? About time you woke, we have things to do. I'm here for you, my love.
am glad to be back. It will be good to have a moment to relax. Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know.
Now would be a good time to reprioritize what we bring with us and what we leave behind. Or sell. Or throw away.
I too prefer custom alterations. To the... I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. Your investigation with the Freestar Rangers has come to an end. Are you satisfied with the results? I suppose not. This Ron Hope, supposedly a man of the people, was more concerned with profit than lives. He was not the first, and certainly will not be the last. He was just a man, and died like any other. At least he will no longer be able to prey on others. I am unsure that death was preferable to justice, but at least the situation is over. Fair enough. I will certainly not miss him. I think less of the badge, and more of the person. Shall we find some other... Something for personal use or for sale?
you might. Wish to lighten your load. One is less likely to survive an ambush when one is weighed down with whatever all that is.
I do not wish to judge, but I doubt you truly need to be carrying all of that.
awaiting your orders, Captain. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Need some work done? Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem.
can I do for you? Sure, I've had it. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. Had you taken the money, this would have been a very different conversation. I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. No, it certainly isn't. Especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. sufficiently rested. Who knows what this day will bring? Freestyle Rangers. Captain? So how'd you feel wearing the badge? Well, good on you. It takes a certain... Me? I never cared. Too many of them try to force the world to be... Take Ron Hope. Everything he did was to keep his people employed. I really hope you're wrong. 
Tough call on what to do with Ronald. Taking his hush money wouldn't have said right. But I wonder what's gonna happen to Hope. I think Paxton Hall went out of control. As much fun as it is being a ranger, I, there's plenty of mysteries left in the good.
two of us make quite the pair. Comfort in the idea that the odds of something killing us here are at an all-time low.
Mann. Have another story. If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. What a sordid mess. We've got some other sources we've been interviewing. So there was a mercenary company, the first. Extortion. I genuinely don't know how people like. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, all of that suffering was a plot. To... Let me be blunt. The other sources say. And all that money? After all of that, the future of their stock has already taken a beating. Notch, any comment? For what it's worth, I... Thanks. If... And, uh... Maybe try not to... busy right now. Eat something? Why don't you talk to Emoli? She'll take care. I know we're safe now. But... Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for coming in.
quite enjoy New Atlantis, but this... <laughs> this is much better. Signature dishes are you? My pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day.
We take vandalism seriously here. You don't mess with history. Good to see you again. Like this. Ooh, yeah, you got me that sweet, sweet sauce. Not that it tastes sweet, it's actually kind of tangy. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff, all right. Enough for the... Welcome to Charmed. some dangerous areas around here that are not part of any tours. If you're looking to trade, I'm happy to help. Sure thing. I'm also interested in buying if you have anything. Enjoy the rest of your day. looking at maybe we can make a trade
Take care. Boy, am I glad they have a chunks here. What we offer is something different. In our Old Titan wind is going strong today. I could use some more help fixing. Great. You know what to do. Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around.
I don't know about you, but it felt like you're doing a lot worse than the Constellation. Read any good books lately? to sharpen while I wait. Do you have a favorite restaurant here? Mine is currently Whetstone, but it changes. Wonder what has happened while we have been away.
I asked my boss what they're doing to stop new alien attacks on the city. Afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. Welcome to UC Distribution. I hope we have what you need. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait.
items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several... Welcome to UC Dis... I hope we have... Back to it, then. Please, if you experience any issue, welcome to UC Distribution. Well, well, certainly. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. Selling art is a Hope bit you're of an art. Oh, please yeah. take a look.
Appreciate the business. Just doesn't add up. Spaceport has anti zenith protocols. How the hell? If you don't see what you... There is a bit more in the... Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Stuff, absolutely. Absolutely. Watch your back out there. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. No, can't say I'll have it. Stop by any time. I help out it. Okay, then. You think Damo's star yards were higher? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course they would. I'm the best. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? The Trade Authority does of course. quite well of for course. itself. Clearly, they share little of the credits they make.
Thing about the trade business, you won't find a better salon. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. Stocks it. Yep, you got it. Stay safe out there. Thank you. Welcome to... All right. Take care. I'm not gonna be stuck in this place for long. All I need is a grease, and I'll turn it into a break. You'll see. with me and I'll serve you my famous knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Scared, aren't you? Okay, now I've seen everything. Please, take a look. Thanks for I'm coming not trying in. to pester you, but I really do need that credit transfer.
amuses me to think about what goes on here, right under the United Colony's collective nodes.
There must be something in all of that you can afford to let go of.
careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. If there's something you be my guest. You need anything else? You know where to find us. You didn't hear this from me. No lawyering. Happy to make a deal. Stop by any time. Belongs on your ship. Yes. Oh, please take a look. Appreciate the business. Pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Yes, of course. Please take a look.
Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Oh, well, sir. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. getting used to this place. It does not quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. <laughs> 